Ayan, start uh, started recording na ako from my end. Okay, um, welcome to CS210. Um, good evening sa lahat. Um, CS210 is Advanced Algorithms and Data Structure. Uh, the first part of this uh, session will be, I will be discussing about our course syllabus, course setup, and some instructions for the SEM. And then later on, probably we can uh, open cam and say hi to everyone. Um, and then may some guide questions na ako para facil- ma-facilitate yung, uh, uh, yung introductions. Okay? So let's start with the course syllabus. Again, the definition of CS210 is Advanced Algorithms and Data Structure. Um, I'm your instructor. I'm uh, Joy Din Clemente. Just call me Joy, Ma'am Joy. Uh, I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science. I'm a member of Algorithms and Complexity Lab uh, since undergrad. Uh, I finished my BSMS PhD in Computer Science. Uh, in fact, yung area of um, research ko is on uh, theoretical computer science. So. My research interest is in uh, no, algorithmic approaches in solving some uh, hard uh, optimization problems. And then, the approach ko for solving those hard problems is through approximation algorithms. And then, I am also interested in a particular type of problem called yung mga online problems. Hindi ito yung mga ano, ah, problems na nakikita natin uh, sa internet. <laughs> uh, these online problems have a certain restriction. I'll discuss more about it kasi it will be part of our syllabus. And then, I'm also interested um, uh, uh, sa parallel algorithms and in particular, uh, yung domain na bioinformatics. So, most of my uh, research problems in the past um, about bioinformatics problems. So I have a current research project now. It's about parallel um, polynomial time approximation scheme. So it's just uh, a set of approximation algorithms for a particular biology, uh, biological problem. So yung mga previews na naturo ko na, mostly undergraduate um, classes, um, data structures and algorithms. So that's CS32. Um, CS33, the second um, part of data structures and algorithms. And then previously, nung hindi pa nagkaroon ng changes sa curriculum, um, CS32 plus CS33 ay na-divide into a separate course. May uh, data structures course then, and may separate uh, course uh, algorithms lang. So that's CS135. And then I'm also teaching about database systems. Okay, so uh, from CRS, the course code is CS210. It's called Advanced Algorithms and Data Structures. Uh, we will discuss uh, more advanced <laughs> data structures dun sa mga previous um, uh, courses na napagdaanan yun na. So the prerequisite for this course is CS135. I will present din yung mga expected um, topics na nadaanan na CS, sa CS135 or equivalent course sa CS135 later on. And then the course goal is to give in-depth coverage of the theory of algorithms and introduce students to the range of possible applications and research area um, in this area. Okay. So, ito yung out, uh, course outcomes. Upon completion of this course, the student will be able to um, decide which algorithm design paradigm is applicable to a given computational problem. So yung mga sample ng algorithm design paradigm is the greedy algorithm, dynamic programming, probably you've heard of it kasi ito yung mga classic uh, design paradigms already. And then, um, of course, we will discuss more about this in the course. Uh, applicable to computational problems lang yung focus ng, uh, ng, ng course na to. Okay? Uh, and then, course uh, outcome number two is upon completion of this course, you should be able to use advanced mathematical methods to analyze the asymptotic running time of algorithms. In your previous um, courses, sa mga prerequisite courses, uh, we probably we've learned uh, about yung mga uh, running time, uh, asymptotic uh, running time ng mga algorithms using different notations like big O, small O, omega, average case analysis. But for this course, we will introduce more types of analysis, how we can assess how good yung algorithm na yun in terms of other complexity measures. So, hindi na lang running time yung concern natin. And then, 
Uh, course outcome number three is analyze the performance and applicability of advanced data structures. We will distinguish later on yung mga basic data structures and some advanced data structures that we will discuss this sem. And then uh, lastly, present current research topics in algorithmic theory. So ito yung difference ng undergraduate course sa mga graduate courses because for graduate courses, uh, magiging familiar tayo sa mga nasa edge ng, uh, ng research area on algorithms. So, ano na yung mga currently ginagawa ng mga different um, research labs in terms of new algorithm designs or techniques. Yeah. So, um, after this course, probably you will be interested in some parang topics na pwedeng maging basis for your um, MS thesis or PhD thesis. Okay. okay, as mentioned a while ago, um, some of you natapos na sa CS135 during your undergrad or equivalent course that, that discussed about um, base, the basics of algorithm design and analysis. So this is just a sample um, course outline for the prerequisite course. Um, ideally, you should be able to... Um, to finish yung part ng analysis ng algorithms in terms of um, uh, how you uh, identify the running time of the algorithm and represent it using asymptotic notations. And um, what's the running time of the algorithm if the algorithm is a recursive algorithm? And then uh, for 135, we expect na din na yung students should know about different algorithmic methods like yung mga brute force, divide and conquer, and so on. Itong mga na-list ko dito. And then, uh, you should know that there are problems that are hard. Ito yung mga algorithms for hard problems. But, um, I assume na medyo matagal na yung iba na nakakuha ng mga previous uh, CS courses nila. So, um, I made some adjustments in our CS210 syllabus to summarize the contents na nasa prerequisites na. Okay? So, for some of you na hindi na, na mas recent or mas nasa younger generation, uh, baka naabutan yung um, CS32, CS33 series. Um, for CS32, um, they focused more on um, linear data structures and yung mga basics ng uh, correctness ng algorithms, um, analysis ng algorithms. But for CS33, uh, just to give a context, um, yung mga nakaabot na ng CS33, they focused on non-linear data structures like trees and graphs and some algorithmic design strategies. So, yeah. Um, baka i ask ko din yung background nyo on your prerequisites para I will know uh, kung yung pacing ko for the fundamentals will be uh, parang mas mabilis or babagalan ko ng konti para uh, makakeep up tayo dun sa mga next few parts ng course. So, with that, as a prerequisite, I did some um, modifications sa course outline. What I did is uh, was to divide the course into three parts. The first part is for the fundamentals. So instead of parang having itong design and analysis na introduction in mas mahabang time, <laughs> ginawa ko ng single session. Kasi mas matured na tayo sa ano na to, sa, sa class na to. So medyo crash, crash course na yung, um, yung mga CS135 topics and uh, nilagay ko na siya into just one part. Uh, so, that's a total of four weeks. The first module is for introduction to algorithm design and analysis. Here, I will um, define what an algorithm is, uh, what is a computational problem, ano yung mga different types of computational problem, what is computation, and ano yung process, how you design an algorithm, and how you analyze an algorithm. Because there, I, there is an, parang ano, a flowchart, ideally, uh, that we can follow whenever we design a new algorithm for a particular problem. And then next is, uh, dadaanan natin yung asymptotic notation and recurrences. So we will discuss and define yung mga 
worst case um, analysis uh, using a big O notation, average case analysis. And then for some problems na recursive ang definition ng problem, we can create as a corresponding recursive algorithm for that. Um, however, the problem with recursive algorithms is that compute, uh, computing the running time is actually very uh, diffi uh, difficult or not straightforward. So um, we will discuss about um, uh, the methods, how you will get the computational um, running time of recursive algorithms. Um, yeah. So if you're familiar with master theorem, siguro in the past, <laughs> may mga nag-develop na ng closed form to solve for, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to compute for the running time of the algorithm. So we will recall yung master theorem sa part na to. And then, we will have a review of basic data structures. So yung basic data structures will be yung um, lists, linked lists, array, uh, ano pa ba? Uh, queue, um, stacks, trees, binary trees, graphs. Um, and then for uh, a review of different algorithm um, design paradigms, we will discuss about um, divide and conquer. Uh, recall natin yung um, greedy algorithms, dynamic uh, programming, and so on. Okay, so that's for the first part of the course. For the second part, uh, mas focus ito sa advanced um, data structures. Um, we all know that uh, we all, we're all familiar with hash tables, yung mga hashing and dictionaries, but uh, may mga several problems na na-encounter sa hashing and marami pa rin research about how to um, solve yung mga different uh, parang collision techniques. So we will discuss more ab about uh, different collision techniques, um, the way how we represent yung dictionaries and indexing uh, dito sa uh, module 5. And then uh, later, we will discuss more about um, dynamic data structures. Uh, in particular, yung mga dynamic trees. So, uh, baka, baka na alala nyo pa, <laughs> may mga tinatawag na binary search trees. Yung mga binary search trees are meant to optimize the search for, ano, for a list of items so instead of parang having it, pa, of storing it in a linear array na worst case of searching for it is linear time for dynamic trees makaka uh, makaka uh, tipid tayo sa pag-access dun sa um, sa data um, ng log n time so magiging log n time instead of linear so for dynamic trees may mga tinatawag na self balancing trees so I-discuss natin yung mga self-rotating trees like um, AVL, um, red-black trees, and um, some other self-balancing trees. We will also discuss about suffix trees. So, yung suffix trees are meant to um, represent yung, uh, yung data in a way na mas mapapabilis din yung searching, especially for uh, pattern matching. So, yeah. So, may meron tayong uh, more discussion about that. Um, and then, if you subscribe to the academic calendar, actually, meron tayong reading break. So, yung reading break is walang ibibigay na anything yung instructor. Um, but uh, this is a break na pa pwedeng gamitin for actual break. Pwede magpahinga or pwede mag-catch up sa mga uh, requirements na binigay nung, uh, before the reading break. Okay? And then later on, we will discuss about temporal data structures. Ito yung mga data structures na kayang mag-handle ng um, dynamic na data at um, way how to retrieve yung mga different versions of that data. Okay? And then later on, yung mga dynamic graphs naman. So this is for mga evolving, uh, evolving graphs. So, sa basic data structure, we'll just discuss graphs and then later on, yung mga, sa, mga evolving graphs naman. How do we represent yung mga um, evolving graphs? Uh, yeah, so that's the end of part two. Uh, yun yung advanced um, data structures. And then, yung part three naman is for algorithm design. Uh, advanced algorithms. Um, but we will start with limitations of algorithm design. Kasi, 
uh, for 10, 11, and 12, may mga sur- uh, several limitations ito na hindi common dito sa mga naunang diniscuss natin. Uh, yung limitations of algorithm design, meron bang nag-comment? Someone wants to join? Teka, i-admit muna natin. Yep. Kapasok ko siya. Okay. So, yung limitations of algorithm design, um, dito pumapasok yung mga tinatawag na lower bound arguments. When we say lower bound arguments, ito yung mga argument na ang claim ay uh, wala nang mas gaganda pang algorithm for this particular problem. And those types of arguments are used for ano, uh, computational complexity. Uh, yung computational complexity is organizing yung mga easier problems sa mga mas mahihirap na problem. So, we will discuss more about this. And then, uh, yung three different um, types of algorithms and types of problems ay nasa 10, 11, and 12. Um, yung Kapag mahirap yung problem, or tinatawag na hard problem, um, sometimes we can settle for good enough solution. So, yung mga good enough solution um, na guaranteed yung quality, ang um, mga algorithms that can provide those kinds of solution, tinatawag na approximation algorithms. And uh, approximation ratio yung quality, solution quality of the algorithm. So, kung masyadong matagal yung running time ng algorithm na yon at walang mag exist na mas mabilis pa doon, sometimes we uh, we sacrifice some something. And yung sinasacrifice for item number 10, approximation algorithms, is the solution quality. So, yeah. Maraming, maraming mga approximation algorithms na gumagamit na ng mga basic algorithmic design paradigms like greedy algorithm, ganyan. So, um, yeah. So that's uh, module 10, and then for module uh, 11, we will discuss about online problems. And yung corresponding algorithm that solves online problems ay mga online algorithms. Ang assumption naman ng online problems is that the input is incomplete. So dumarating yung input ng piece by piece, and then the algorithm is expected to, um, to return a part of the solution. So, yung mga online problems, mas mahirap compared dun sa mga offline problems. When we say offline problems, before the start of the computation, complete yung input. But for online, even though incomplete pa yung input, kailangan mag-solve ng, ano, ng solution for that problem. Sample nito is the stock market problem. For example, um, you can get uh, prices of a particular um, stock or item na changing through time every day nag-change siya and you wanted to get the maximum values and uh, maximum selling price or minimum uh, selling price ng particular stock kasi you wanted to maximize your profit ganyan pero since hindi mo alam kung ano magiging price tomorrow it's hard to be optimal so uh, ano yung mga ways how to solve this kinds of problem most uh, solutions parang gumagamit ng mga predictors how to uh, to predict the parang the future price pero ang inaassume ng type ng analysis na to is that the worst case scenario could happen so uh, may tinatawag na competitive analysis to um, to identify how good is your online algorithm how competitive is your online algorithm and then lastly, um, streaming algorithms. Ang limitation naman ng streaming algorithms is yung memory capacity. So, um, your algorithm has limited memory. How do you uh, compute uh, for a particular problem? Yeah, so yung mga streaming algorithms mostly ginagamit sa mga IoT devices because of their limitations sa uh, capacity. Okay, so that's the outline for the um, CS210. Uh, the first part again is for fundamentals. The second part is for advanced data structures. The third part is for advanced um, algorithm design for uh, much harder problems. Ayan. Okay, so yung course natin is uh, using uh, a learning management system. So. I'm not sure if this is your first SEM in UP or or hindi na. Uh, I'm not sure din kung familiar kayo, but we have Uble. It's a learning management system na kung saan in-enroll ko na kayo. <laughs> so, but um, if you don't, um, if you can't access the course, 
Although na sync na kasi sometimes yung email address ay hindi nagtatali doon sa Uble. Um, please email uh, jbclement.ph ito yung email address ko with subject CS210 Uble enrollment. And please indicate your Uble email address. Okay? So if ever wala pa kayong Uble or may problem pa sa CRS, you can also email me and um Yeah. So, tingnan natin kung ano pa yung uh, necessary para ma-access nyo yung course. Okay? Kasi most of the announcements will be through this learning management system. Submission of requirements through this LMS din. Ano pa ba? Yung mga materials natin will be um, posted here. So, yeah, mahirap na hindi natin ma-access yung uble. Okay? Okay. So, wait. May nag-message. Ken. Ken, ikaw ba to? <laughs> Previous ACL member? Uh, yes, Joy. Uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Ken, sa wakas sa kabalik. Uh, mamaya na to. Oo. Gusto ko sa Kasi yeah. ay, yun, uh, yung mga kasabay ko, aware kami lahat sa challenges ng enrollment. Pag first sem mo pala sa UP. Yep. Ang yep. gamit ko itong deal net pa, yung lumang email, nakapag-email na ako sa helpdesk kasi. Mm -hmm. So, di ba pa yung UP at UPT yes. na domain? Sa G G domain Gmail pa? na yun. Oo. Google suite na yung gamit ng U at UP. Ang suggestion ko, email UPITDC kasi sila yung in-charge sa UP mail. Ah, Tapos, okay. Kasi sa helpdesk yeah. ako kumukontakt. No, wala na. Eh. Wala oh, pa rin. Oo, Nag-change system na tayo. <laughs> Upgraded na to Google yung ano, yung UP accounts, UP mail. Ah, okay. Yes, and then you can use that UP mail to log in ano, sa Uble. Okay, clear na. Mamaya na lang. Okay, okay so kaya pa ako dyan sa ano. Oo, oh, doon na lang tayo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sino pang may similar problem? So, kung wala pa kayong UP email, uh, please, um, try to uh, email yung UPITDC. I'll look for the contact person kung sino ba dapat i-email para magkaroon ng UP account, UP email account. Okay? Si Francis ata, wala pa din. Yeah. Sige, later natin i-settle yung mga registration enlistment issues, no? <laughs> yeah. Sige, continue ko muna yung, um, yung discussion about the course setup. But ideally, sana lahat tayo makapasok as soon as possible sa Uplem. Okay? Okay, so, yeah. So, for, uh, we have a total of 12 modules dun sa previous na kwento ko. And each module will have um, learning material. So, I will upload a lecture slide, uh, yung book chapter reference for that lecture slide, a video recording na uh, pwedeng synchronous session or pwedeng asynchronous kapag silipag-silipag ako at nakagawa ako ng video for that um, particular module and then a problem set okay so i will uh, post the problem set per module um yeah so me submission way then how to submit a problem set given yung parang assignment for the problem set you can see the um, specs or the problems na dun sa um, activity na problem set okay and then a dedicated q and a forum sa mga shy type pwedeng naka anonymous yung um question and answer uh, portion ng ng module natin. Okay? And then ang gagawin natin is i-schedule ko yung pagre-release ng new module. A new module will be visible every Tuesday 7 AM. Kasi yung course prep ko to to make sure na uh, updated tayo at ano uh, mangyayari prior to Tuesday 7 AM uh, per per week yan. Uh, yung module 1 for example will open September 13 ng 7 AM. So, you can get access to the content, uh, nung lecture, yung lecture slides, etc. Um, prior to our Thursday meeting. So, th Thursday, uh, next uh, week, uh, magkakaroon tayo ng session. Okay? And then, for the references ng CS210 natin, we will use yung CLRS, uh, classic CLRS, 3rd edition. We will also use yung um, Levitin book, 3rd edition din. Introduction to design, to algorithm design and analysis, um, and then um, a keyword book sa data structures because I will still use it for uh, some 
discussion especially sa fundamentals. And um, first edition pa lang to kasi pinapublish pa yung second edition. Okay. okay, so for the course requirements, um, we have a problem set and we have uh, eight problem sets. One for each module ng part one and part two. So, ayan, so we have a total of eight. And then we have one, uh, we have a total of uh, two exams, one for part one and one for part two. So, expected yung exam na to nagaganapin in a parang same day, hindi siya asynchronous na exam. And it's a face-to-face -face exam. And then, final presentation. So, may three types of course requirements tayo. Problem set, exam, and final presentation. Okay? So, for the problem set, um, it can serve as your reviewer for exam. And parang weekly assessment din natin kung gets ba yung uh, concepts or instructions or algorithm. And then, for uh, the deadline of each problem set, um, sinet natin ito na before the next meeting. So, if for, um, hmm, for, for module 1, yung problem set will be released um, sa Tuesday, September 13. Ang deadline will be yung Thursday nung week 2. Okay? So, hindi naman kayo ideally malilito niyan kasi when I release a problem set, nakalagay naman yung deadline. And um, you can still submit... Um, after the deadline, pero may ano tayo, 5 over 100 deduction per day late. And uh, pwede pa rin kayo mag-submit kahit na medyo mas late na, basta we, had, uh, we have a cut-off uh, ng submissions and expected na ma-receive ko lahat ng problem sets before mag-start yung exam 1. Or exam 2 for part 2 problem sets. Okay? So, uh, yung manner of ano, setting a deadline ko dito is actually helpful para um, when you finish the problem set, pwede kayo, pwede nyo magamit yun as a reviewer for the exam. Because for exams, yung mga questions will be similar or medyo may trick naman konti. <laughs> uh, na quest um, similar questions sa problem set. Okay, in terms of difficulty, uh, almost pareho lang sila. Um, yeah, so initially, sinet ko ito na face-to-face -face unless may mga certain restrictions na lumabas ulit uh, this time. Hopefully, wala naman. Pero I also wanted to know yung um, sentiment nyo about having a face-to-face -face exam or um, probably may mga circumstance kayo like nasa province or medyo malayo kayo sa Metro Manila. Uh, just let me know later sa introductions. No? Okay, so for the final presentation, uh, ano ba ito? Okay, yung final presentation, ang tentative date for this is December 17, 2022. Um, this is a Saturday. Um, we can have a parang sort of symposium for all of you na magpe-present. Uh, pwedeng by group naman ito. So, it's an online uh, paper presentation, pero uh, tentatively online, pero pwede natin i-hold ng face-to-face, -face, depende kung anong mangyari sa, sa SEM na to. And then, the topic will be assigned. Yung pairing then will be assigned. And ang um, idea is that you will present a paper, uh, one paper from... Uh, a fundamental paper from uh, yung mga mga uh, mga magagandang conferences sa computer science like uh, foundations of computer science ano to? symposium on theoretical aspects of computer science and so on so you can search na yung mga classic algorithms na nasa book ay published sa mga uh, conferences na to so um, we will look for recent papers or fundamental paper dito sa uh, several conferences na suggested. And we will um, answer these five important questions. So given that paper, uh, you will identify what problem uh, the paper is trying to solve. Uh, why is the problem interesting? Why is the uh, what is the primary contribution? How did they do it? And then what are the key takeaways? So yung guide questions na to, kinuha ko to sa survival kit ng isang parang course sa Stanford na uh, nagbibigay ng guide how to read um, research papers na nasa algorithms. So it's a skill na necessary for us to know kasi most of the time sa MS or PhD, uh, nagbabasa tayo ng sandamakmak na paper. So, inish, uh, magandang uh, matuto tayo how to properly read the paper. Okay? And 
more importantly, uh, mga algorithms type na paper yung ginawa ko dito sa final presentation. So, it will be a presentation that answers this more this most um, important questions. Yep. Uh huh. May question po tayo from Ken. Ayun, uh, Joy, Miss yes. Joy. <laughs> <laughs> Undergrad kasi di ba gumagawa pa tayo ng machine problem, kailangan natin ng actual code. Mm -hmm. Dito ba yun sa mga problem set mm -hmm. and yung exam, yeah. so the code? Ah, for ano, since this is a lecture only uh, na, na course, walang necessary coding. This will be a theoretical only ano type ng analysis or pseudocode at the, ano, parang pinakamalapit na dun sa coding part, pseudocode. <laughs> Yeah, so walang machine machine problem. Wala ring machine exercise. Yung mga problem sets ay um, either you do the algorithm uh, parang pen and paper or by following the algorithm um, creating a pseudo code for a particular problem pr or proving parang ganun yung types of questions. Ah, uh, nasagot ko ba yun, Ken? Yung clear na. Kasi, ah, ano, <laughs> pipili ng bagong ano, laptop, nahiwalay sa work laptop. Kinukonsilip ah, ko rin yung space. Yeah. So, <laughs> pero, for system courses, for sure, may mga coding component yun. But since yung CS210 is uh, nasa theoretical side, nasa theory, part ng, ano, uh, ng core course, uh, wala, wala tayong, ano, i-de-demand <laughs> na machine problem. So, okay na, Joy. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. Yan. So, yung initial list of topics for this can be from the third part of the course, which is pwedeng a new approximation algorithm for a problem, pwedeng uh, an online algorithm for a particular online problem, or streaming algorithm for a problem. So, tingnan natin how... Um, we can distribute uh, a, top, uh, a list of papers na pwede kong makuha uh, to the students or pwede kayo maghanap ng something interested kayo para, ano, para pwede maging basis for your MS thesis or PhD thesis. Yan. So, what about grade computation? So, given yung eight problems, two exams, and one final presentation, um, ang contribution will be 40% problem set, 30% um, sa two exams, and then 30% for final presentation. Okay? And then, this is the table for the parang average to letter type of grade na to be uploaded sa CRS. Okay? So, for the exam administration, initially nakaset tayo na face-to-face uh, -face exam, and Saturdays, yung pinili naming time para Pin ah, na namin, pinili kong time para wala tayo masyadong matamaan na um, other face-to-face -face exams then especially pag mga undergrads so, yung tentative date natin for the two face-to-face -face exams October 8th and November 12th so, if meron kayong conflict, let me know agad para we can schedule yung exam na ano, hindi tayo magkakaroon ng special exams so, ideally, sabay-sabay tayo since kaunti lang naman yung uh, total number of students. Okay, so for face-to-face -face exams, um, the final set of instructions will be announced at least a week before the schedule para at least for those of you na nasa province, you would know kung matutuloy ba yung face-to-face -face exam natin and ano yung mga uh, necessary uh, requirements. Like medical, kailangan ba magpakita ng medical certificate, uh, antigen test result, yung mga ganun, na sometimes nag-change uh, dahil sa uh, mga memo na pinoprovide ng college. Okay? So, for missed exams, may rule tayo that na missed exams would incur a grade of zero. But, in case of the student's unavailability, the student can send an excuse letter before the day of the examination. Okay? So, note na before the day of the examination because if yung excuse letter sent after or on the day of the examination, it will be subject to... Uh, uh, assessment. So, parang it's up to be, depende sa reasoning ng student, 
uh, kung i-allow na magkaroon pa siya ng uh, makeup exam. So, in such case, the instructor can impose a grade deduction or hindi i-allow na missed exam. Or pwede din naman uh, na wala ng deduction because of the circumstance. Okay, so for consultation, maraming possible channels. Channels. So yung the first um, suggested channel is through Q and A. So kahit anonymous uh, posting yun, um, I urge you guys to use this forum. Uh, forum na pwedeng mag Q and A yung mga students. Okay. Nung undergrad kami, since face to face, madali kami, madali namin gawin yung Q and A. Um, kasi we can talk to each other, pwede kaming magtulungan sa, prob pro uh, sa pag-solve ng mga problem set and so on. So, um, malaking tulong yung collaboration. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, for personal concerns, pwede naman na you can um, email me kapag ayaw nyong i-raise sa lahat yung concern niyo and send it to my email. Uh, this is my email. And then, for online consultation, if may problem, you can email me first so that we can set a schedule. Uh, please note that messaging via social media platforms is prohibited. Okay? So, yeah. <laughs> may mga Facebook friends ako sa inyo. So, yung mga personal stuff, okay lang. Pero yung mga related to um, the course, uh, hindi ko yan entertain. And then, for grade consultation, the grade computation will be displayed using yung um, gradebook module ng uble. So, a grade consultation will be conducted during finals week. And all grade, uh, grade concerns, corrections, questions, must be done during a scheduled date and time. So, we will set a deadline. Why do we have to do this? Because meron din kaming de deadline of submission of grades sa CRS. So, after the given period, all corrections will no longer be accepted even if it is valid and the grade will be considered final and for uploading to CRS because we identified a deadline for ano, uh, cons grade concerns. Okay? Uh, yeah. So, remember, uh, yung intellectual property rights, uh, no materials sa course na to have, uh, will be shared sa mga course hero, check, reddit, stock overflow, uh, Facebook groups kasi... Yeah, it's a property of the university or kapag ka nanggaling siya sa ibang uh, books or some references that we cite, uh, meron na siyang intellectual property rights na dapat ay hindi, ano, ma, ma, ano. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, I also listed down some university policies na nakalagay sa academic info. Uh, some relevant university policies ay... Uh, uh, with respect to the grade, ano na, so we have yung grade incomplete na um, pwedeng ibigay if the student has a uh, parang passing, uh, passing na standing. Okay? And there's a dedicated time for removal of incomplete. And then meron yung um, grade na 4.0. And yung 4.0 na to um, may be removed by re-examination. Uh, na pwede mag-change into 5.0 or 3.0. So, listed naman yung other university policies doon sa course information. So, um, pwede nyo siyang i-check. And you can also look at academic information ng uh, UP to know more about rules. So, yeah. yeah I think that's my last slide. Uh, yeah. So, I think may mga, kung may mga questions kayo, pwede nyo namang i-share sa akin. Teka, mag-stop recording lang ako para...